Hi, my name is Miss Loann, and I'm from the San Leandro Public Library. Play with me this afternoon, and we're going to find out what happens if you give a mouse a cookie. Have you tried that at home? But first, let's do some warm-up songs. Now, I know you know your ABCs, but do you know them in sign language? If you don't, and this is your first time in sign language, don't feel frustrated. You just have to learn one new letter a week, and before you know it, you'll know the whole alphabet. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, and I'll try to go slow. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right. Now, let's um, get out our 10 fingers, all right? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, we're gonna open them and shut them. Open them and shut them. Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. All right. Now, are you ready to hear our story? All right, now let's put on our imagination caps and let's imagine it's a Sunday afternoon, um, a rainy Sunday afternoon, so you're at home baking cookies with mom. And the smell of chocolate chip cookies is just filling the whole house and it just smells so good. And the smell goes into the mouse hole and Mr. Mouse says, hmm, I gotta get out there and get a nibble of that. So, now, Mr. Mouse picked the right house because I like to share. So, here he comes out of his hole. Oh, hi, Mr. Mouse, what's up? He says, I smell something really good. Are those chocolate chip cookies you're making? Oh, yes, they are. I just took the first batch out of the oven. Do you mind if I have a nibble, he says? Well, sure, Mr. Mouse. Why don't you go ahead and sample it? Let me know how, how good it is. He says, oh, but you know what? When I have chocolate chip cookies, what's good with chocolate chip cookies? What? Milk. He says, can I have a glass of milk too? And I say, sure, Mr. Mouse, I have some milk. Now, Mr. Mouse is very particular. He likes to drink through a straw. So he's gonna say, can I have a straw please, next? And I love how he says, please. I say, sure, Mr. Mouse, that's an easy request. I have straws. Okay, now. Nibbling on his cookies and he's drinking his milk. And when he finishes, do you know, do you know sometimes when you drink milk and you're holding the cup up to your mouth and the rim of the cup leaves a white mark above your lips? That's like a milk mustache. So Mouse is very conscious about that. And he says, you know what? I need a mirror. I need a mirror to look in there and see if I have a milk mustache. Okay, Mr. Mouse, you you better check. Because you don't want to go out like that, right? Okay, so he's looking in the mirror. Oh, no milk mustache, but you know what? My hair is getting kind of long. I need a haircut. So what does Mr. Mouse need to get a haircut? He needs some what? That's right, scissors. Okay, here's some scissors, Mr. Mouse. So he's cutting his own hair and all the extra hair is dropping on the floor and it's making a big mess. And so I say, Mr. Mouse, you're making a big mess in my house. So you know what? Here's a broom. You need to be responsible and clean up after yourself. So he says, okay. He takes the broom and starts sweeping. And then he's looking at the floor really closely. And he says, you know what? This whole house is dirty. All the floors in this house are dirty. And I say, no, I haven't had time to clean it this week, Mr. Mouse. Would you kindly do it for me? Would you, would you mind mopping? He says, oh. Out of the kindness of his heart, he offers to mop for us. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mouse. You definitely earned your cookies. So he starts mopping the whole house. Now, the house is pretty big, and mopping is hard work. So when he's done mopping, what do you think? He is tired. He's so tired. And he says, I need to take a nap. Can you please get me a pillow and blanket? Sure, Mr. Mouse, I can do that. You can, you can take a nap. That's fine for a bit. And there's your pillow. There's your blanket. So he pulls the blanket up, fluffs the pillow up a couple times, snuggles in deep. And then he realizes, you know what? I'm not ready to go 
to sleep yet until I hear a bedtime story, right? Don't you love to hear a bedtime story before you go to bed? Okay, Mr. Mouse, I'll read you the ABCs. How about that? Well, while I'm reading to Mr. Mouse, he wants to look at the pictures and he's saying, oh, those are lovely pictures. Oh, I like that picture. Oh, I can draw that one. So next thing you know, he wants to draw his own picture. So what does he need to draw his own picture? He's gonna ask you for some paper mm -hmm, and some crayons. Okay, there you go, Mr. Mouse, paper and crayons. Get at it. And so he's silently sitting there doing a quiet activity because he's tired after all, but he's got enough energy to draw one beautiful picture. Wow, Mr. Mouse, that's a pretty nice picture. You did a great job. He says, yeah, I'm kind of proud of that picture. Uh, I think I should sign it so everybody knows that I did it. You know, I, I like to claim that picture. Sign it like all the great artists do. So what does he need to sign this picture? He is gonna ask me for a pen. All right, all right, there you go, Mr. Mouse. There's your pen, whoops, to sign your picture. Now, after he signs the picture with this fancy cursive, right? He says, hmm, I gotta find a spot to hang my picture up. Where's a good spot to put the picture up where everybody can see? Now, where does mom and dad usually put your great artwork? What do you say? On the fridge? Oh, Mr. Mouse, how about if we put your picture on the fridge? Is that a great idea? There's nothing on there. And it'll definitely brighten my fridge. He says, oh, great idea. So now in order to put the picture on the fridge, what will he need? Well, maybe a magnet, but not all of us have magnets at home. So most likely you can put it up with some scotch tape, right? Okay, so I give him the scotch tape and he takes his picture to the fridge and while he's Looking at the fridge, he realizes, gee, mopping it off the floor, I'm really thirsty. You know what, can I have another glass of milk? And I think, sure, sure. So I give him a glass of milk, another glass of milk, and then, of course, his straw. And then he's drinking the glass of milk and wondering, what was good with milk? What is the absolutely best thing to go with milk? Chocolate chip cookies, right? So he's wondering, do you mind if I have a couple more chocolate chip cookies? And I say, sure, Mr. Mouse. There you go. All right. So he's pretty content and happy now. That's what happens. Is once you give him a chocolate chip cookie, he's going to want to have more, right? Okay, so this is a circular story, which means it starts and ends the same place. All right. Now, I'm going to sing a song about five little birds. And this is a new song that I just learned, so please bear with me. And just learning the words, okay? It's, um, the birds just hatched out of their eggs. And Mama Bird says to them, oh, you guys, you gotta learn how to fly. You gotta get out of the nest, look for your own food, and learn how to fly. So let's count the five birds, shall we? All right, here we go. One, two, up in the nest five okay a blue one a green one a red one a purple one and an orange one all right all right now <clears throat> let me put on my glasses okay come on birds mama says you gotta learn how to fly well the first baby bird looks down at the ground he got scared and couldn't make a sound Mama bird said, now fly, fly, fly. But the baby bird was too shy, shy, shy. Uh, I says, I don't know, that's awfully, that's awfully a uh, long way down. Mama says, just flap your wings. So the first baby bird got out of the nest. The next baby bird looked at the rest. Mama bird said, now fly, fly, fly. But the baby bird said, oh my, my, my. A little hesitant, right? All right. Okay, now. The fourth baby bird. Oh, I'm sorry. The second baby bird flew way up high. The next baby bird gave a loud, long sigh. Mama bird said, now fly, fly, fly. But the baby bird said, too high, high, high. Well, you know what? You're going to have to be brave, okay? Try to muster some courage. Don't worry. You'll be just fine. So. The third baby bird at last went out. 
The next baby bird gave a long, loud pout. Mama bird said, now fly, fly, fly. But the baby bird said, oh, why, why, why? All right. The fourth baby bird went down to eat. The last baby bird gave a long, loud tweet. Mama bird said, now fly, fly, fly. But the baby bird wanted to cry, cry, cry. Aw, it's okay, baby bird, Mama bird said. Mama bird said it'll be okay. You'll be all right, and there's a way. The little baby bird then started to sing and flew off, flapping his wings. Okay, now, all the baby birds with Mama in the lead. Oops. <laughs> These don't stick very well. Okay, let's see. There we go. All the baby birds with Mama in the lead flew through the sky quite well indeed. Mama, oops. There you go. Okay. Mama bird said, now fly, fly, fly. And the baby birds flew to the sky, sky, sky. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming this afternoon. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.